Okay, so let's talk about these preview cards. Megan and I got oh. not one, but oh. two preview cards for Coria Lair Behemoths. And yes. these cards are amazing. I'm going to start us off with Majestic Oracorn. Oh my gosh, it's a unicorn! It's a unicorn. And I love that it's not like, it's not like a classic horse unicorn. It's some kind of like hybrid beastie unicorn thing. I love it. It looks yes. so weird. It looks like this is the sound that it makes. Okay, ready? Are you ready for the sound this creature makes? There's literally no way that I could be ready, Okay, but go for it. <laughs> this is the sound it makes. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you yep. think? Yeah, I 100% agree yeah. with you. Yeah. That is what it looks like this makes. Four and a white for a 4-4 four, four, Vigilance. And it says, whenever this creature mutates, you gain four life. And of course, it has mutate for three and a white. If you cast this spell for its mutate cost, put it over or under target non-human creature you own. They mutate into the creature on top, plus all abilities from under it. It's so beautiful. I love its yeah. mane. It's got a long flowing mane. It's got the classic unicorn horn, but it also mm -hmm. has a bunch of unicorns corn horns or horns like, i guess sticking spikes, spikes sticking out yeah. of the rest of its body oh uh, yeah and it has like some kind of like a lion like lion mane yeah thing also oh, beautiful it's great really cool what i think is cool about this too is you know seeing an uncommon mutate creature is really neat because when mutate was first previewed all those cards seemed you know completely busted and so yeah. the big question was what will mutate look at uncommon and common and here you know you get a pretty nice bonus for life but you know it's not the most splashy thing in the entire world so yeah. it'll be interesting to see how often you actually want to mutate and kind of put a target on your creatures as much yeah. as like just playing this out for as a four four for five mana uh, so, Maria, as you mentioned, we do have a second Yes, preview. and thank you to Wizards of the Coast for these free previews because I think they were right in giving us two unicorns. Yes. And this two second unicorn, beauties. two beautiful unis. Uh, this one is Splendor Mare, and it is splendid. It's two and a white at uncommon for a 3-3. It has lifelink, so uh, lifelink something at white here, it looks like. Cycling for one and a white, which... A plus. Let's put cycling Ugh. on so many cards. Let's just yes. do it. Uh, which is one in a white. Discard this card. Draw a card. So it's really great. You can just discard it. Draw a card if you don't need this creature at all. When you cycle Splendor Mare, put a lifelink counter on target creature you control. This card I love it. is great. Not it's only so is good. it a 3-3 a three, three for 3 in white, which... With lifelink. Never happens. Yeah, with lifelink. That is extremely good stats for this creature. Yes. But the cycling just like moves it up in estimation a huge amount because yeah. just put this in your deck. It's going to make your deck better no matter what. And you get to put a lifelink counter on something. That's huge. Oh, I love, yeah, there's like, I love every aspect of this. I also love that these unicorns have long brushy tails. Oh yeah, I'm this one does that. have a, it's got a long brushy tail and it's got glowing antlers. Yeah, like elemental stag antlers. Really cool. Um, it's just, I love, um, we had talked about keyword counters and like what that means. Yeah. And so it means, you know, like there are counters that will give a keyword, which is very, very cool. And that, yeah, that you still get like some bonus out of this card besides just drawing another card when you cycle it is excellent. I love everything about it. Yeah, I think Splendor Mare in Limited is going to be a very, very solid card. Um, oh, yeah. As long as white is a color that you want to be drafting or putting You're going to want to have this card in your deck. If you're you're going to want to have that card in your deck. It's better than Majestic Oricorn, in my opinion, but it will be really interesting to find out exactly how highly prized a mechanic like Mutate is on any card. Yeah, um, for sure. So maybe I end up being wrong about that, but I think Splendor Mare is just like, that card is great. Yeah, for sure. So once again, thank you Wizards for these free preview cards. Um, two beautiful unicorns in Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. Will unicorn decks be a thing? Probably not. But you know, if you've got like a unicorn like commander thing going or whatever, like here you go. Here's two more cards to put in that deck too. I think unicorn's a super, super cool creature type and I'm glad they keep printing cards with it. Two, one.